Hello and welcome to another episode of Games with Zane. We are playing EU4, the Third Rome as Russia. So we just finished up a war with Shravan, where we mistakenly gave that to the nation that we released. So we've got 15 years before we can take it and complete our mission, which is sad. No, that's not the mission. Where's the mission at? Mission there. So that is sad. But, in the meantime, while we wait for that truce to end, I think we are going to be attacking Theodoro, uh, along with Genoa, and Poland-Lithuania. Because <clears throat> Poland-Lithuania is having it handed to them right now. And that is great. So let's uh, go ahead and get our cores being made. And bring our armies back which we will not be able to do from where we are at that is very sad and annoying it's okay so now they can come through so one of you can move there and the other is moving to Ostrakhan have lost the conquest against them but something that we can do which I think we will do is make a claim there and then go ahead and give it to Georgia subjects Ryzan is a little upset uh, so let's grant core claim Dagestan will go to you let's see about uh Improving relations with Georgia. And yeah, we can't take that now. That was part of our plan, was to have a claim on Alania and then go for this. So what did that do to the Ottomans' aggressive expansion opinion? A little bit up, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We probably could have gone for more uh, actual territory. But us taking this will probably upset them a fair deal, as well as these. Uh, so that is Jagatai that we can make another claim, so why not just go on up the line? Because the, the south is probably more uh, developed than the north anyway. Probably not by much, but more. Timurids uh, occupy by Multan. Timurids are having a hard time now. Uh, so it looks like there is no Persia. Can't be certain on that, but... It's like the Ottomans butt right up against them, and there is no Persia. Interesting. But the Mamluks have been able to survive much longer than they normally do. So let's begin preparing for an attack on Poland-Lithuania. At least uh, here shortly. One thing that we should do, we've held off on it long enough, we can go ahead and embrace colonialism. I don't see it reducing in cost much further. Yeah. I just don't see it reducing in cost as much as I thought it would. So let's go ahead and embrace that. We've got a little money left over anyway. It's a French trade modifier. It's great. Oh, but now Poland's no longer a rival. <clears throat> and we have to spend points. Oh, and doing that automatically drops it to 999. It didn't used to do that. It did not do that when I played as a Yutia. That is also sad, and or is it because I did it right when there was a, a month tick? It would have done it then, I'm sure. But we just lost lots of points. Ugh! Mistakes everywhere. With um, interface information. Let's go ahead and tech up. It's kind of what we were waiting for anyway. And we can do a double tech up here though. So increased number of states. Allows new government forms. Uh, do man of war, increase morale. 
navy. And in combat with cavalry, weapons manufacturing can be built. And we can also increase. So now we are all caught up. We've got a new unit type. We will do offensive, Eastern Musketeers. And what level, what level was that? 12. And Lithuania is at 12. And Poland is at 12. Okay. And the Ottomans are at 12. Conversion successful. Let's do some more conversion. These are cheaper and still allow us more. Yeah, in the same amount of time we will get more out of that. So let's go with the higher one. No other Christians are allowed in the empire. The Muslims can hang around at least for a little while. So we've got an incre increased autonomy expiring. We've lost the Castus Belli against Poland, but that's okay. Uh, is there anyone that we can replace Poland with? Claims on our rivals. Russia gains the claims on the Ottomans. Okay, that's fine. I like it. No, I can't replace them with anyone else. And where are we in the great power list? We are number two, stuck in between Russia and the Ottomans. We are honestly not that far behind the Ottomans. Yeah, that is occupied by Silesia, not when important. And there are, so yeah, that's fine. There are a large array of rebels wanting to form in this. And if we have, we do have another Diplo spot. If they form, we may see about making them vassals. Because then we would be able to integrate them and they are of our culture group. France paid all foreign debt of Austria. Interesting. So let's, uh, let's end you, and for siege purposes, let's begin fabricating claims on Poland. They would accept royal marriage. I'm sure they would keep me from attacking them. Here's our unrest. In the places that we just took and in Estonia. Something we could do is uh, go ahead and increase autonomy here in these two places. That will be all right. And I guess another thing we should do is no longer press claims there, but instead press them here. They may be happy that we release them, but oh, they are going to regret it. Diplomats arrived. It appears that I am now greedy. That is a little sad. That does not benefit, benefit the state, sir. Raise the Strelt C. Two succession, still Castile. Oh, but he's young. That doesn't matter. And Castile is also only one territory now because Spain has basically collapsed and taken over by Morocco and Leon and Portugal has been eaten up. This is a similar situation to what I saw in the Ayutia campaign. So, yeah. Lithuania still has an army. But there went the end of the war and there are still separatists here. We definitely want to try to avoid them, but it looks like now is the time.
to attack Poland. Poland is not a rival anymore. Let's look for Poland. Poland. Pass them up right there. They have no manpower. Most of it is comprised of by mercenaries. Uh, let's look at Lithuania. Lithuania still has manpower. There's no mercenaries. Um, but let's see about going ahead and raising. We can do it from the individual armies. How many can be supported here? 41, a whole lot. We'll keep those four mercenaries for now. Let's, uh, let's see about raising the infantry, four cavalry, and at least five artillery, and kind of the same here. We'll just give it a little increase there. It'll be a slightly larger army. Uh, let's do something similar here. We can get up to eight there. And we will do seven. I know that's not even. I would like them to be even. but That'll be okay. So with that, we've got an increase going on. And how many can... 28, 33. It's where they're at, everyone should be fine. We have already surpassed them, so this doesn't matter. We're going ahead and increasing our army size. Conquest. Wait, the Great Horde still exists? I thought we wiped them out. What's, what is this foolishness? Where's the Great Horde? Oh, well. They did form, didn't they? Do we still have a truce with them? Nope. We'll have to consider that shortly. Just uh, go ahead and wrap around the Caspian Sea. At least where we can. There's Kiva. And Multan. And there's Timurid tribes, not Afghanistan. We can do another tech increase. I don't think we want to do that just yet. That is just uh, way too much. Spy network from them. Okay. Poland is trying to do things to recoup. But once my army comes up, which they are beginning to now, the Canaries. Okay. And it also looks like Poland Lithuania is starting to retake some of the territory that the rebels have uh, taken. We'll try and kind of avoid the rebels, because honestly, them breaking out would be good for us. Native assimilation. Very nice. Mecklenburg, religious civil disorder. So uh, we are still gaining what's left. Mostly cannons. There's five cannons. So we are clearly making a push up. We are number two, still wedged between them. Everybody's losing, losing, what is that, modified power? Is that what we should call that? I'm not sure. Uh, they are being pushed back. People laugh at our army. Oh, it's only prestige. That's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's something, but it's not that bad. What is this? What is this? Chernoff separatists. They've crossed the border. You shouldn't have done that. We were very willing to be your friends. And all of that. But you, you just, you can't do that. Robber barons. The burghers are concerned with the great influence of the boyars in our state. They claim that many lower members of the nobility are disregarding the peace and the law of the land. Using their position of power and the lands they hold to take up unreasonable tolls and taxes for traders passing by. Some are even said to attack and waylay merchants, robbing or extorting them of their money. Representatives of the Russian burghers now claim that the economic development of our country is held back by these excesses. The boyars, on the other hand, argue that they are simply charging respons 
charging reasonably for the use of their roads property. Some are willing to give the state a part of the share they take. Uh, gain one tax base to claim only what is their right. The boyars are happier, the burgers are not. The burgers lose influence. Uh, so one production base. Let's go with the tax base. They take only what is their right. What is this? The burgers are disloyal now. That's fine. We expected that. So that one is up, and so is that one. It's 25, 8. Yeah. So we just had an increase in our army size, and right up to the point of uh, our income being able to sustain it. We can't update these, but it would honestly, that's just not cost effective. We are about to take places that should be cores. So now with this, Estonian zealots and Protestant zealots, Erev. Er, so that's these two. Yeah, we can go ahead and increase autonomy in these places. Not here, that's almost done. That one should be fine as soon as it's finished. Clone religious civil disorder. So let's begin preparing to attack Poem Thuania. It's very good, that one is done. If we remove the troops, will it still be good? Where is... Really, troops? No, it's not, so let's go ahead and increase it. We can. Over here. We've got more that we can do. So, yeah. And our patriarch authority is very low. We would like to increase that. So what have we got? 16 and 25. Let's go ahead and bring you here. 24, that is supported. And 26, 28, that is supported there. And what, they are at war. Who are they at war with? They do not have enough favors either. Who are they at war with? Brunswick. Second Verdner Conquest of Hanover. Okay then. Yeah, there's simply not enough favor with them to get them to come in, but we might be able to get Sweden to come in. Let's, uh, let's give it a test run, see what all we get going on here. Pomerania would come in. Oh, they are now allied with Venice. What? How do we have no cast spell? Uh, I bet it's with the, the Poland thing. Poland versus Lithuania, yeah. So Magdeburg would come in. Venice would come in. Sweden would come in, but now Pomerania would not. Because I can't give them land from Poland. Is it even worth my time to fight Venice? Venice, Magdeburg is here. So Magdeburg doesn't really matter. But Venice kind of does. Where are they in the whole scheme of this? Are they on the Great Powers list? They're not. Uh, England has become Great Britain. So that's the thing. Where is Venice in this list? And uh, back up here, Venice. Oh, a lot. Venice itself is pretty strong. And was that right? Sweden would come in? Sweden would come in. In three years, Pomerania would as well. So if that's the case, it's three years. We want to get a little recovery. But uh, it won't be substantial. Let's declare war. They're allied with Genoa. They're trading power within and with Mainz. But I think this is who we go after. 
right now. So we'll do this and head there. And that supports enough, yes. We have cannons everywhere and men and horses. We have more horses now. This we've got unrest, claims fabricated by the Ottomans, Ostrakhan. The two places now have problems, but they are about to be cores and are probably going to get really low on the unrest side once those cores are done. And it's just the two. So let's go ahead and declare war. Who all is? They are allied with lots. Let's go ahead and declare war on Theodoro. They will not come in. That's okay. I don't expect this to be a big issue. Let's move here. And we gotta wait for them to come in. Self sustaining colony. That is lovely. They are now in. Let's take. A look back at the Russian frontier. Can we colonize? Yes, we can. For a cost of 18. We cannot do that one just yet. In core province in those two places. We have knocked out Theodoro's army. And... Do they still have unrest? Yes, a little bit. Religious unity, non-accepted culture. You don't see any way that I can really improve that. Something I can do, however, is uh, detach siege and move on down. Just uh, rolling on down the line. So we'd like to take as much of this territory as we can. We may even not take anything from Theodoro if it allows us to keep that alliance together. Native assimilation, increased population, lovely. We can't get them across. That's okay, they can hang out. We'll start bringing them down here. Azov is done. Let's bring them down. An excellent minister. Admin, prestige, and admin. Or let's, since our admin is so close to the max right now, let's do the tradition and the military power. We've occupied a place. We can move you here. Ryzen is in the area now. And uh, look at all that. And so you can walk back around Kaffa. Genoa has expanded just a little bit. Raised the Caustic Host is over with. So we could probably do that again. Cossacks. Raise the Caustic Host. They would be a little upset. But this jumping back and forth on the Cossack host is probably a good thing. Let's go ahead and merge them in here. Let's go to an agent from Lithuania. That does not really concern me. So there is no more. Oh, they are. Their army does still exist. And they continue to siege things down. If they continue to give uh, Poland, Lithuania a hard time, that is perfectly fine. We have finished with Kaffa. Will they leave? Will that be enough to support the army? Yes, it will. Merge up. And uh, yeah, we're kind of just waiting for Theodoro to fall. What is the boat situation like? 9, 2, we actually have a superior boat situation. So why don't we take our boats 
and move them down into this area. It may take forever and a day for them to get there. I'll have to see if they take any attrition on the way. Native assimilation. We're getting more native assimilation events happening. So yeah, they are already starting to take attrition. So they may not be able to make it. 1% right now. 3%. Let's go to that. Rosk, that doesn't mean that we can colonize this area yet. Because if, it, if they do wind up taking too much attrition, I'm probably going to just turn back. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid that they will. So we, we can't do that, not punch through to be able to get to the coast, I don't think. So now that is done. We can expand to one more place. Moving out into Siberia, how fun. So now let's talk to Theodoro. We want, honestly, mostly Genovese territory. I think we will stop when we get a coalition with the Ottomans in. Just with Genoa. Genoa is the one that's upset about that. We can probably do something like this. Just be able to get the war done. If we need to, we can do that. But this is probably going to last a while. And just be something that we have to wait on. Uh, one more war with Theodoro. We can convince Theodoro to get rid of cores. Trisbanad. Who's doing that? I'm not really concerned. Last time that didn't fare well for us. We can get war reps out of it. Monies. So yeah, it's going to be... We're definitely going to take these three. What we wind up really getting out of it, as far as money goes, is a different story. How's Pomerania's uh, favors? We at eight. We are at eight. So when it reaches ten, we will probably use that to take on Poland, Lithuania. And we have reached a max on Diplo Power. Wow, is there anything in particular, something we can spend it on? It is increasing our mercantilism. Where is our, what's our current mercantilism value? 14%. Let's spend a bit to increase mercantilism. Yeah. That should probably be good. One more, just get it 20. Nice round, even number. Does that on its own make our treasury positive? Yes, it does. How very nice. The military leader has left us. That is a little sad. Um, guess something I could do is to make a Black Sea Fleet. I have the money. I have kind of the uh, the ship power. So what we should do, I think, is build nothing but war galleys in the area. So yeah, in these two places. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That makes it. We are now at our naval limit. It'll be a long while before that comes around. What is it five years? I think it was five years. That'll be fine. The war, I would not be surprised if it lasts that long. 
get into a war with Poland and Lithuania, we do not really get any extra distance on Venice. We still have one open Diplo slot. England's thoughts on that? England, uh, their opinion has reduced. Still at minus 84 when we take out the war. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that up. I don't know, would they accept vassalization? They would, and that would also complete our quest chain. Owned by Russia or its subjects. All right, we, we may be a bit more passive towards them. We can't do the alliance, but we can improve relations with them. We got here, we have Chittagai, and we won't be doing that, I guess. Uh, Chagatai, let's fabricate another claim. And can we fabricate any other claims? We can fabricate a claim and then turn around and give it to Ryzen. Let's do that. Let's uh, give that to Ryzen. Ryzen. Siphon income will grant a core claim. Okay. Enforce culture. Change their liberty desire. They have no liberty desire. Change it to Muscovite. Sure. Let's toy with it. Uh, 130 diplomatic power. I mean, we're making enough diplo power anyway. 14, 9, 6. Let's, uh, yeah, let's spend it. Enforce culture. And fun thing, we could vassalize them and enforce their our religion on them. Mm, maybe not. I think they have to be heretics, not heathens. Either that or uh, because they're heathens, it is 100% liberty desire. I forget exactly. Oh, we've got a ability that we can do. So let's see. Renaissance to Reformation it allows religion state easy. Religion and force. Renaissance to Reformation plus 90%. I don't know exactly what that means. Blockade impact. Force score cost versus other religion. Is reduced. Mercenary discipline. Institution spread in true faith provinces. That could be useful. Prestige for let's uh let's do the religious wars because everyone basically is not my religion. So that now means when we talk to them, there is only 120 reasons. If we remove the money from the situation, it's 59, 62. There is also the war reps. It's down to 20. So this is actually doable. If we remove revoke cores, it is completable right now. With a little extra cash, I think. 100 cash. Um, yeah, I think so. <coughs> Let's do it. It's very good. Now I've got Azov and these places. We can make cores out of them. We've got another place to convert. We will do the Protestant place. 
because no other Christians. Only our type of Christianity will work. So, all right, well, I've got a little over, but that is an appropriate place to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we will see you next time.